Hello, all my Cancer friends. Welcome to your reading for September 16th through 30th, 2019. This is a collective reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading with your personal energy, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, and I'll be more than happy to assist you when you make your appointment. I want to just give a little shout out to my uh, other readings. If you're new to my channel, we have weekly readings that are based on the days of the week and not on your horoscope sign. It's based on the daily energy with the ending of a meditation that clears your energy. And we also have the Daily Mystic, which is a membership to join uh, and have a daily uplift reading with a daily boost of affirmations and a meditation. It's $4.99 a month, and you get 20 readings for that price. There's a join button below if you'd like to be part of that. You can, uh, if you don't see the join button, you can email me or send me a message down here in the comments. And last but not least, we also have the daily affirmations. This is something new. We're using the law of attraction, and we're using it to assist in a daily reboot of getting back to our get our goal energy and getting ourselves set back on positive and uh, kind of neutralizing all of the toxic energy around us to start back on manifesting our dreams. Uh, also, and just the very, for the, for the very, uh, very elite, if you all want to be part of the tarot and learn some things that I know about tarot, then I have uh, episodes of Tarot Talk. There are three episodes I've published so far. It's an ongoing project, so there will be more to come. But you can look in the playlist on my home page, and you'll be able to find all of these things for absolutely free, except for the membership, which is $4.99 a month, which I think is a heck of a deal to have 20 readings with um, daily meditation. So many blessings to you. We'll continue. All the business work is done. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your wonderful energy and your presence here as always. Your guidance is welcome and appreciated. Thank you so much, Divine. And here we go, Cancer. We're starting off with the Hermit. The Two of Cups, that's Enlightenment, Divine Union, Finding the Path, feeling like it's not happening fast enough with the Five of Pentacles, the Star card, so Cancer, this is a really strong spiritual movement here for you. And we have the Two of Pentacles in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Now for some of you, this may be more work oriented, but we'll talk about all that in a minute. They, just because I lay the cards out and say this is what it is, sometimes there's nothing going on in that area that's really notable. And if there's something more important, which is like on the job front, it's gonna show that. We do have another set of cards coming out, so don't fear, it still has a possibility of giving you the answer you're looking for. Six of Cups in the career and finance with the judgment card something coming back around for another chance or something being reignited nice the ten of pentacles very good energy uh, for the money part cancer we have the two of wands the two of wands is talking about a choice being made now normally when there's a, a choice we always associate one with right and one with wrong. I always try to iterate that every choice is there for a reason and both choices are valid. You get to pick what you want. You do have free will. You get to choose what path you want to take. And I, I promise you, God, the universe, and divine energy know exactly where you are. If you go to the East Coast or to the West Coast, it's going to find you, just like Santa Claus. <laughs> it knows where you live. So don't worry, you won't miss out on anything. We have the Hermit. This is finding your inner light and using it to follow and ignite your path or illuminate your path. 
to allow you to see the pitfalls. You see, he's looking over at the chasm here going, oh, I don't want to step that direction. So sometimes we have to sit down and focus and reignite our spiritual light and guide ourselves in the right direction. You see, this light is only illuminating his own little path here. It's not lighting up the whole skyline, just this one path. So this is your light and this is your light from within. So please do the work. Get yourself balanced and focused. Meditation, even if you just sit quietly, you don't have to think of anything. Uh, two of Cups, very much in a united mindset. Now, this can mean uh, a lot of people look at this and go, oh, it's the uh, uh, soulmate card. Well, yes, but it can also be a spiritual enlightenment, what's happening. So, so not everybody's in a soulmate relationship. So if that's, if that's the case, then this is also talking about spiritual attunement, being able to get into that one mind with divine self and being able to see your own reflection. Okay, so your spiritual reflection coming to face you because what you seek also seeks you. Don't forget that. This is a really good energy as far as being able to be very uh, focused on your spiritual energy and goal. Very much talking about that here. Now, sometimes we go, well, but I don't, I don't see that. I don't really feel anything happening. Do you see this light here happening right there? Well, she can't see it because it's happening behind her. So like behind the scenes, the universe is making things happen. So even though you can't see it with your physical eyes right now, you just have to be patient and, and keep your focus on your light and getting yourself centered in your own path. Because my darling Cancers, this is the star card. This is the breakthrough moment. You see that third eye lit up on her forehead? This is your soul going supernova. This card means this is your uh, soul's desire being told yes by the universe. This is your soul's wish being granted. So I want to point out two significant things about these two cards. These are both major arcana cards for two different zodiacs. This is the Virgo major arcana, and this is the Aquarius major arcana, just in case that matters to any of you. Some of you, this may be some of your sun, moon, and rising. And if you're, if you're cross-watching, or a person in your life, which would be talking about that two of cups if that is the case for you. So, we have the Two of Pentacles, maintaining balance and focus in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life. The Two of Pentacles means pay attention to what's, what's important, what's at hand, what you have to deal with right now. Keep in balance and stay grounded. We have the Seven of Swords, which is talking about letting go of things that no longer serve you. So this can actually mean packing and moving. You may be, you know, it doesn't have to be a bad situation. It just means not taking the, the garbage with you, okay? Like, if you're moving out of a house and you clean up all the trash off the floor, are you going to pack that and move it too? No, you're going to take it to the dumpster. And I just noticed something really cool as I say that. This looks like a little fire going there, right there. So, yeah, burn that trash. <laughs> Don't take it with you. <laughs> In Texas, that happens a lot when people burn trash. Page of Swords. This is information coming in. Someone having a conversation with you or some kind of divine contact. This is about air and thought. This is a page, and so he is bringing message. Let's see what's happening over here. So we have the Six of Cups in the top of your uh, career and finance area. This is soul family. These are soul bonds, okay? Soul contracts. These are people or souls that you have made a spiritual bond with on, in the other realm and spiritual side and divine. This is where you say, okay, look, and I'm not, you know, I know spirits don't talk this way, but this is the best I can interpret because I'm human. Um, it's an agreement made, okay? And it's an agreement to go through many lifetimes. As we go through lifetimes and we end up in the same vibrations together, our souls will gravitate toward each other. Now, we may not consciously know each other and, and know each other's names from whatever past lifetime we're from, but our soul energy gradu uh, gravitates toward each other and we can recognize that vibration. And these are people that are in your life that you know that you've had to know from a past life because there's too much familiarity. They don't have to be family. Now this, in this area, means that you do feel like you're in a place of, of uh, family type energy with your job. 
some of you actually may work in a family business. So we have the judgment card and this is something being resurrected. So it might be an old idea that was cast aside. It could be a job you applied for that you thought you didn't get. This is something reviving itself. It may be a past employer calling you back saying, hey, could you please come back? We really need you. And they really do if that's the case. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is allowing yourself to come through with this abundance and receive it, okay? Ten of Pentacles is the highest money card in the deck. So it is a very good card. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say, Cancer. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you so much for your Divine Presence here. We welcome your energy and thank you for your guidance. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is definitely got the Queen of Pentacles on top of this uh, Virgo Major Arcana. Queen of Pentacles is having your money in hand, being very grounded and stable. Now, this also means a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn energy because it is the Queen of Pentacles. Usually the face cards or the, uh, the, the, the people, you know, the King, Queen, a page, all uh, those energies are usually... Uh, talking about actual people in your life. It, it usually means a person. So then we have, and it can be your energy, being grounded, centered, and focused. being Because that's what this is recommending that you do, is get yourself centered and focused internally, and then externally it will reflect that. So the Nine of Pentacles on top of this Two of Cups is being in a place of understanding that your divine energy is what brings your divine circumstances. I'm going to say that again. Your divine energy brings your circumstances. When you believe that you are taken care of and actually uh, the universe is conspiring in your favor, it, it brings more of it. Remember, what you seek also seeks you. That is the truth. I promise you. Now we have the sun card. So what you've been sitting there waiting for and thinking, oh, I don't see it yet. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm starting to worry. There's the sun card. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is a new beginning with the white horse. It's talking about your spirit being rejuvenated or revived. And a lot of people talk about the white horse with spirit horse. Uh, I was born in the year of the horse and I have a, a, a lovely white horse totem. So I'm going to set him right there. And this is the baby. And the baby is whatever the new, sorry, I get the hiccups when I read it. The, the baby is the new beginning of whatever it is. It's like a rebirth or a new birth of something. It doesn't have to be an actual person being born. It's the energy being born. Then we have the sun on top of that. And the sun is always talking about giving vitality and energy and rejuvenation. So we have this four of cups here that's being offered on top of the star card. That's amazing and fabulous. We have the Queen of Wands, another Five of Pentacles because you're in the place of moving and changing and it feels like you're, it's kind of scary. There's the new job. It also can mean a new beginning in a relationship for some of you. We have the three, three weeks, three days, three months, third time's the charm. So there's a time period for you for the, for the movement here. The Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles on top of the Ten of Pentacles. Doesn't get much better than that, Cancer. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles are the two biggest money cards in the deck. So, that's fabulous. And we have none, none other than the King of Swords, Archangel Michael. He is always the one who is here to help and assist you move through difficult times. And anything that's blocking you can be removed. Very, very, very genuine, caring, safe, wonderful sacred energy with the Archangel Michael. Now, he can also be uh, an air sign, which would be um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy. I think it's all about helping you on your path, though. The Hermit card with the Queen of Pentacles, very strong, deciding to move in a very careful and planned manner. 
uh, earth signs don't choose easily. They, they have to be very uh, thorough with what they're going to pick and know all the options and then they have to plot it out and plan it and then they go. So it, they like it to be a sure thing. So then we have the Two of Cups which is all about having the, the energy of divine union, divine spirit and being in alignment with that. Believing for your place in the Garden of Eden where you are cared for and everything is provided not one second too late. This is believing that the universe conspires for everything you need in your life to happen at exactly the right moment and not one second too late. That happens to be my thought of, 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 of the preference. Uh, five of Pentacles, beautiful energy, just knowing that everything is working behind the scenes and not to let yourself get in the fear mode. Because that sun card guarantees that that is the case, that it is working behind the scenes and it will come out in its best possible way. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. That is, it's, bar none, it's the happiest card in the deck. So the star card, the biggest spiritual movement in the deck, having your soul have a, a revelation or a new um, uh, um, ascension, okay? And then the four of cups. So with this ascension is an offering from the divine that is a hand coming down from the heavens bringing this cup so don't fall asleep at the switch and don't ignore it because it really is something worth having now we have the two of pentacles which is keeping everything in balance with the queen of rods which is the very strong sagittarius aries and leo energy but it also means being very much in charge, okay? Being very work oriented. So this may be your focus is not on a relationship. It may be work, work focused because this queen is very much a taskmaster when it comes to work. Now you've got the seven of swords. Maybe you're striking out on your own because that queen can also be talking about entrepreneurship. And it's very scary to give your two weeks notice at a nine to five job and then set out on your own and think, oh, did I do the wrong thing? You have not. This is being, this is right under your nose. So please keep your eyes open for the signs. You got the page of swords with information coming in here. It's either an idea or actual information. Now this does not have to mean entrepreneurship solely. It can also mean being a leader or someone who is very highly focused. Um, and this can mean actually uh, a new job coming in would be a large organization someone granting you admittance to something to a college or to some kind of um, a group civ civic group or spiritual group this is being told yes you you are granted permission to move forward this is a wonderful opening here for wonderful and now it can mean a job it can mean any other thing that you would be allowed to be part of Now, and some people may be getting married here. This could be taking the vows. We have the Six of Cups, which is the, the fam, soul family energy, with the Three of Swords. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. Something coming back around from the past, something being resurrected. Um, an old idea or an old plan being put back into play. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Whatever this is is resurrecting is bringing in abundance overflowing because the Seven of Cups is being overwhelmed by blessings. I call it the dump truck load of blessings. Y'all have all heard that before when you've listened to me read. Um, it means someone coming, literally dumping a whole dump truck load of whatever it is you're asking for right in your front yard. Well, you can't just leave it there right so it comes with work attached so you have to do something with it so then there it is there's the dump truck load the ten of pentacles with the ace of pentacles so this is a double double wonderfulness here this is all about being made financially whole okay so whatever this is if some of you may actually be there telling me this may be somebody actually having a judgment in their favor because this hierophant can also mean a government official and we've got a whole lot of coins coming in you're a cancer so you are the cups you're the water sign this is your energy here so this is amazing energy this is a great reading and it comes out with 
a whole lot of money at the end. So for all of you, I wish the very, very best and the life, love, happiness, abundance to you all. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all and I cannot thank you enough for allowing me to be part of your daily energy and watching these wonderful videos. I hope I can assist you through the tough times and the happy times. Many blessings and I'll see you again in October. Namaste.